Hey everyone, no matter what we do on the internet these days, we can't escape AI, nor should we. I've been calling ChatGPT my personal assistant for a while now because it just helps me with tasks and ideas and just saves time, especially when it comes to building websites. I am a little afraid of those new AI video avatars and that they might replace me in the future. But that's a worry for a future Irma. <laughs> so for now, in this video, let me share tips on how to talk to AI in form of prompt to get the best results. And I'll show you how I use AI to build sites. I'll be using ChatGPT and WP Bakery AI today because with WP Bakery AI, I can ask it to apply things straight to the page without leaving the editor. You'll see. Tip one, be clear and specific. When writing a prompt, have a clear idea of what you want AI to generate because the more specific you are, the more accurate the answer can be. For example, this is WB Bakery AI and instead of asking something broad, like add an effect to text, AI doesn't know which text or what effect. Instead, ask something like add a subtle green glow effect to all H1 headings on the page. And now we've got something to work with. And remember, it's not a person, it's here to fulfill a task. And all filler words we use as humans to convey emotions can only confuse it. But again, not in a human way, but in a harder to give you relevant results kind of way. Tip two, provide context. If you give more context to AI, it will allow it to make the answer more relevant to you. For example, instead of writing, write a slogan for a restaurant, add context about the restaurant, like write a compelling slogan for our restaurant gourmet heaven, highlight our dedication to farm to table freshness, culinary expertise, and personalized dining experiences. And see how different the answer is. Tip number three, use relevant keywords. If you're writing text for a website or writing a blog post, keywords are crucial and you can let AI know which ones to include. For example, if you're working on content for a coffee shop, you can ask AI to include terms like artisanal coffee, sustainability, or cozy cafe, and it will add those exact words to the generated text. Tip four, experiment with tone of voice. This is a fun option of WP Bakery AI. You can choose between multiple tones of voice and each one will give you a different result. Here, I have added the same prompt and chose a different tone of voice. Completely different results, but still the same vibe. So it's a good idea to play with these until you find the one that you like the most. Tip five, specify the output length. If you're writing a blog post, a headline, a description, all of those have different lengths in words. Let that be known to your personal assistant. In WP Bakery AI, you can choose the length from the drop down, but in other services, you can just say, write a description no longer than a hundred words, for example. Tip six, test and refine. Always treat prompts as a process that you have to test, refine, and repeat. Rarely the first result is exactly what you wanted. So again, add more context. Take the parts that you like and ask AI to rewrite the rest. Tip seven, be nice or be mean. There's a bit of a debate now on the internet about whether you should be nice or mean to your AI. Some people say that saying please will give you better results. Some say you should threaten it <laughs> because otherwise you give it a chance to say no. But as far as I know, it's not based on any real data because AI cannot process human emotions. So you shouldn't feel obligated to say thank you or please. But I mean, maybe it's worth if AI takes over, we'll see <laughs> how I use AI to make websites. Let's finish the video with a couple of ways I actively use AI to help me with building websites. First is generating content, of course. With WP Bakery AI, I can open any text element on my page and ask AI to either write it for me, improve or translate it. It's a real time saver. But what I do most is I make WP Bakery AI write code for me because I studied communication for years not coding. So anything from CSS to underline all H1s or create hover effects. 
texts to custom JS that will display a random quote each time the page is loaded. The possibilities are endless. So take my professional communication advice and just chat with AI and try things out. These were my tips for successfully making AI your best website building assistant. Like this video if you want to see more videos like this one and I'll see you then. Bye.